Welcome back to Drift and Decode and for our Tech Spotlight video series, we're going to be talking about one of the most common problems user encounter when logging into their sandbox instances. But before anything else, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you want to be updated of some future contents in our channel. Let's get started. One of the most common ways of logging into your Salesforce sandbox is through test.salesforce.com and putting in your username and password credentials. However, there are some instances where when you log into your sandbox and you ensure that it's the correct username and password combination, you still encounter some error messages along the way. You also try to double check that you're using the right username and password credentials However, even though you repeat the process, putting in the username, putting in the password, the error message still appears. And in this case, the error message says, please check your username and password. If you still can't log in, contact your Salesforce administrator. Now, this particular error message is very common if you have recently refreshed your Salesforce sandbox. So from production, if you refresh your sandbox, it usually takes a few hours to almost a day for Salesforce to recognize your new sandbox credentials. And it takes them a few hours to be able to recognize those credentials within the test.salesforce.com URL. So to solve this issue, there are two ways to verify and check this one. The first one is to use the correct instance location on your URL link. And the second one is for you to verify your My Domain settings and setup. And this one is particularly important if you have set up your custom domain in your Salesforce um, organization. So let's go first on the first approach, which is using the specific instance location. So again, going back to our test.salesforce.com. So click the URL bar and instead of using the word test, remove the word test and replace it with a specific value of your instance location. So in my case, for example, I'm going to be using CS80 as my instance location. And from this page, you can put in your username and password again, and then click log into sandbox, and you will be able to successfully log into your sandbox instance. Now the question is, where will I get the CS80 value? And that's very simple. If you go to your um, Salesforce setup, and under home, type in sandboxes. And on the sandboxes, we have here the location column. And on the location column, it basically specifies what's the instance location of your particular sandbox. So in my case, um, it's being hosted on CS80 instance location. Hence, on our example previously, we used the cs80.salesforce.com URL. Now, the other way is for you to check your My Domain settings. And this one is particularly important if you set up your own custom domain for your Salesforce organization. So let's go to Salesforce Setup again and under Home, type in My Domain on your search bar here on top. Oops, make sure that it's the correct spelling. Yep, and then click My Domain. And on the My Domain settings, we're particularly interested on the policy section. So let's scroll down on the policy section. And there are two options here. The first one is login policy, and that prevents login from login.salesforce.com. And the second one is prevent SOAP API login from login.salesforce.com. I'm currently on my production instance, hence you can see the word login.salesforce.com. However, if you're on your test environment or sandbox environment, you're going to be seeing here test.salesforce.com. We're particularly interested on the first checkbox, which is prevent login from login to salesforce.com. So what this means is that if you want to allow your users to log in using the login.salesforce.com, make sure that this checkbox is unchecked. However, if you want to restrict or if you want to prevent your users from logging into this particular um, login at salesforce.com and you only want them to log in using your own custom domain, make sure that this one is checked to enforce the restriction for your users. 
And that's our aha moment for today for our Salesforce tips and tricks. So once again, we discussed the issue about test.salesforce.com, which normally occurs if you have recently refreshed your Salesforce sandbox. And there are two possible solutions for that one. The first one is to use the specific instance location. And the second one is for you to verify your My Domain settings. Once again, if you want to watch future videos about Salesforce tips and tricks, aha moments, don't forget to subscribe on the channel in order for you to receive future contents. Thank you.